What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and this is Torado Racing. Today's video I'm going to be installing a Vicrest carbon fiber rear diffuser on our 2018 Infiniti Q50. It is part number 101067, but I'll put a link in the description below. As you can see, it comes ready to be installed and is covered in a high gloss clear gel coat finish and it is UV protected. In the center of the diffuser, you have an LED light that comes pre-wired. The kit comes with a rear diffuser, two packets of adhesive promoter, and double-sided tape. But we're not going to use this double-sided tape. We're going to use the Scotch Mount Extreme Tape that holds up to 30 pounds. You can get this at your Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot. Some tools you're going to need include a straight edge razor, a microfiber cleaning cloth, gloves, and a heat gun. You're going to need a soldering gun, some extra butane, heat shrink, electrical tape, wire cutters and strippers, a sanding block or sandpaper, some Loctite, and some hardware. Start by sanding the mounting surface on the car. The light scuffs and scratches will allow the double-sided tape to adhere. Once you are done scratching the mounting surface, wipe the area clean. The next step is to wipe the mounting area of the rear diffuser clean. After you have wiped the mounting surface clean, install the double-sided tape. The next step is to remove the rubber grommet underneath the trunk liner. Take the grommet and drill a hole in the middle of it. Once you have finished drilling the hole, snake the wiring harness through the grommet. The next step is to peel the backing off the double sided tape. Next, you'll want to use the adhesive promoter on the bumper of the car. While you let the adhesive promoter sit for 30 to 90 seconds, use the heat gun to heat up the double-sided tape on the rear diffuser. The next step is to install the rear diffuser on the rear bumper of the car. As you can see, I used a piece of tape to mark the center of the car. Once in place, press firmly. The next step is to drill four holes underneath the rear diffuser and add the hardware. Once you have installed the hardware, apply some Loctite. And this is what the finished product should look like. The next step is to feed the wiring harness through the bottom of the car. Okay, once you have your light wiring through, you want to strip back some of the conduit the black stuff then you want to strip the wires back just a little bit not too much be careful not to cut them when you're stripping them back they are fragile then the main body harness for the tail lights here you're gonna come over here you have to pull this back and you're gonna unplug these two connectors from behind the passenger side tail light and you're going to want to be working with the bigger of the two connectors so you got to strip back the electrical tape separate them and then again, strip the ele uh, electrical tape off of the bigger connector here. So once you do that, clean up the wires so that, that residue doesn't interfere with your soldering. And I will show you how to connect these wires. Okay, so what we're going to do is, just like we strip back these wires for the lights, we're gonna strip back some of the conduit off of this harness. So the way you're gonna to want to connect these is black with black, red with red, yellow with this olive green color right here, and nothing with the purple. So I'm gonna strip these back, solder them together, put some heat shrink on them, and then we're good to go. To strip them back, you're gonna want yourself some of these wire strippers. You also have a cutter in the middle right up here to cut any excess off. So I have my uh, heat shrink right here, and as you can see, they're kind of long, so I usually like to cut them in half. 
as you can see right here, I have an example of a previous job I did. So I just take these, I cut them down to size, and you put them on the wire before you solder anything together. Um, because once you solder them together, you can't put the heat shrink over the wire, and then you gotta cut it, put the heat shrink back on, re-solder it, and then apply the heat shrink. There you have it guys, that's how you install the Vicrest carbon fiber rear diffuser on a 2018 Infiniti Q50. All in all, this project should take you anywhere from two and a half to about three hours. So if you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Till next time guys, peace out.